Hi guys, so welcome to the how to series on Power BI. So basically, this is a series where I show you how to perform various tasks on Power BI. Okay, now in today's series, we're going to be creating an Instagram chat. All right, so Power BI doesn't provide you with an Instagram chat, right? But you can easily create one in two ways. I'll tell you how. First, you can choose to create your regular bar chart and modify it to become an Instagram chart. Or two, you can go to the marketplace and get an Instagram chart. Today, we are going to be creating an Instagram chart from a simple bar chart. Simple, right? So let's get into it. Now. The very first thing we're going to start off with is getting our data. We can't create anything without data. So I'm just going to come here, get data from, now is this an Excel workbook or a CSV file? I guess we'll find out. Let's try a CSV file. So I'm just going to select my data, which I have saved up here. So I'm going to select this bike sales data set and select open. So Power BI is establishing a connection to it. Now we have our data set. So I choose to transform or load my data. Now I'm just going to choose load. Usually you want to transform your data before you load any data coming in, except you've pre you cleaned it in another data set. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and select load. Now that should load. Okay, okay. Um, how about loading that? Looks like our data set contains a thousand rows. So I'm just going to wait for it to show up here. And we're going to create an Instagram chart. So an Instagram chart is used basically to show like distributions, right? You want to show like distributions of say age, of say uh, income ranges. So we're going to try one today now. Starting off with a simple bar chart here. Yeah, I'm just going to select this clustered column chart. And I'm going to just make this bold enough so we can all see this. Come here. Okay, that's good. Now let's select our age. So this data set came with predefined categories. So I'm just going to select the age group which is given to me. And now I want to generate what? I want to generate the revenue by age group. So I want to see which age group is bringing me the most revenue in my company. So I'm going to search for a revenue and I'm just going to put this revenue over here. So once I do that, I have this basically, I have this simple column bar chart, column chart. Now we have this, let's work with this, right? Let's work with this. First thing to do to change this, to come to your format pane over here, let's format this visual. Let's turn this bar chart to our Instagram chart, shall we? Coming over here, I'm just going to scroll over to my columns. Yes, my columns and my spacing. So we notice one thing that differentiates a bar chart from a column chart is the space. Now, bar charts have little more space between each bar compared to an histogram chart, right? So that's what we're going to work with. So I'm just going to come over here and reduce the space between this. Now, this three is fine, but I can reduce this to a two or a one. Now, once I do this, I have like my histogram chart. You get this. So I have like an histogram chart of this. So now, what else am I going to do to get this settled? Looking at this, this is a category of adults, young adults, youth, seniors, and this is 
sorted in descending order. For an histogram chart, you're showing the distribution of ranges, and this is like age group. Age group has an order to it. Is that like an inherent ordering? So we start from zero to five years to ten years. So this is something that you want to show exactly as it is, and then you can now pinpoint which age group is obviously bringing in the most revenue. So what am I saying here? I'm saying that I need to sort this in a different order. So let's come over here to sort. Coming over here, you see your sort axis. So Power BI offers you two sort axes. So you can sort on your X and your Y, meaning you can sort based on age group and your revenue, the sum of the revenue, right? So you get to sort in two orders. You get to sort in descending or ascending order. So this means Power BI basically offers you four sorting options. So you can sort in your X axis, ascending or descending, and sort in your Y, ascending or descending. Now, does this really satisfy for most of the cases? No. How do we do this then? You go ahead and you create a simple sort table. You create something that's going to help you sort this. Let's get into it, shall we? So I'm just going to come over to this and create my sort table, right? So coming over here, my data, I'm just going to select, or well, let's move over here, shall we? Let's come over here. You see your get data, you see enter data. So let's create a new table, right? So let's enter data. So enter data now, I'm just going to call this first column by each group. So I just want to rename this with a similar name to the other one, which is each group. And then next, I'm going to add another column. So what's this column function for each the order in which I want it to be sorted? Now, what do I have in my age group? So you can come ahead to just slide this over here so you can see each and every feature you have. So I have my, start off with the youth. Let's start off with youth. So I have youth less than 25. And then I have what? I have my, I'm just going to add more to this. I have my young adult. Young adult. 25 to 34, right? Okay, what are I writing? 25, 25 to 34. And then that works. So I'm just going to call this order one, order two, order three. So young adults, then I should have my adults currently. Adult, 35 to 64. Then I should have my seniors, right? I should have our seniors, 64 plus, right? Now I'm just going to sort this. Now I want to rename this table to be my sort table. Let me just name this sort table. And then I'm just going to load that. So my table, I have the age group which I want to sort, and I have the order in which I want this sorting to be based on. So now that it's created, I'm just going to go ahead and load this. Now that should that should start loading, and I should have the table appear here as well. So sort table four rows loaded exactly. Now I'm going to show you that table. So now I have two tables here right now. So to make use of this. I need to see this in my data view. So coming over to data view, to your sort table, you get to see the data you created. Oh, cool. Now I want to sort this in what? You have to sort this in order. So the very first step I did was create a table to sort this. And now the next thing I'm doing is selecting what I want to sort. Then once I select this, the column tools is activated, you see? Now that's one cool thing. Then you see your sort by column here. So it sorts one column by the contents of the other. So I want to sort my age group by the order column. So I'll just select this and sort by what order. Now that's going to work and that's done. So now that that's done, I'm going to move over to my model view. So I want to create a relationship between these tables. So the first thing I did was create a new table, sort by the column, the order column. And now I'm going ahead to create a relationship. So this is our model view. Oh, Power BI has done it again, automatically detects the relationship. 
So this is one thing Power BI does, automatically deleted relationship. So if you're not sure about this, you can delete this and recreate yours. So this works well for me and I'm just going to delete that. So going back to this, my report view. Now let's sort this, shall we? Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace this age group by the age group of my sorts table. So I'm just going to remove this, pick this, and drop this here. Now, tada, we have young adults, youth, young adults, adults, 65 to 64, and seniors. All sorted. So let's modify this a little bit, shall we? Let's get into this. So what am I going to do here? Um, let's just give it distribution of revenue by age group. So let's come over here to our title and I'm just going to change this, control A, then I'm going to change this to distribution of, okay, distribution of revenue by age. So let's go ahead and increase this once it size a little bit. So let's give it like a 35. Yeah, let's give it like a 35. I think that's cool. So the next thing I want to do is I want to um I want to remove my X labels and my Y labels. They're not needed anymore. I have a title that's descriptive enough. They're just going to add to like kind of like a clutter. So I'm going to come over to my X sizes. Turn off the title, and I'm going to increase the size a bit because it's clearly not visible enough, right? So let's go with now. That's better. So I'm going to come to my y axis as well. The values, let's increase the values as well. We're just going to do that real quick and change that. Now that's sorted. Let's turn off the title. Now, here we go. So let's let's give this a border so you can see this clearly outlined against this. So I'm going to come to still my format and let's look for our border. Let's go to general effects. Then we're going to select our borders, visual border on. Now let's select the color. The color is this. Okay, let's give the color a different color, shall we? So I'm just going to go back to my um, effects, visual border. I'm going to give it a white color. Now I know that it's a bit white, white. I'll give it a white. And now, so this white color is going to clearly show. Okay, I'm going to turn on the shadows as well. Yeah, turn on the shadows. Now, so this white color will clearly show against this background. I am just going to... I can change that if I want to a gray background so everything reflects, but this also works well for this too. So here we have a simple histogram chart showing you the distribution of revenue by each group. So we can definitely tell from this that adults are bringing in the most revenue and seniors, we need to dig deeper into this probably. Now, that's the end of this part of the series. Thanks for joining.